I've been reading a lot about the Renaissance period and particularly about Leonardo da Vinci. So today, I want to share with you what I discovered on how to apply the Leonardo da Vinci code to end-to-end -to -end test automation. And just like Leonardo da Vinci revolutionized art and science, we'll explore how his principles can revolutionize your approach to automation testing. I'm also a big Marvel Comics fan. And let's face it, if someone shouted Avengers Assemble during the Renaissance period, it would be painfully difficult to fit all the main characters in one frame, right? Well, they'd have probably shouted, Avengers, gather thyself, or maybe Avengers, assemble it. But that's besides the point. The thing is, with a star-studded lineup of geniuses like Michelangelo, Galileo, Raphael, Copernicus, the list goes on and on. But no one stands out in the Renaissance more than Leonardo da Vinci. You'd probably find him smack dab in the middle, flaunting his 13,000 pages, the rest are lost or undiscovered of notes and drawings. He was, after all, a true polymath, excelling at painting, sculpture, architecture, science, mathematics, engineering, inventing, and a bunch more. Dang, his bio probably would break LinkedIn today. Anyway, as I mentioned, the reason why I bring this up is I've been reading a bunch of books on Leonardo da Vinci, including his biography by Walter Isaacson. And flipping through the pages have been nothing short of eye-opening. And while most of us know da Vinci for his soaring inventions and artistic masterpieces, I found myself captivated by his often overlooked anatomical studies. Meticulously and detailed, his beautifully sketched drawings showcase an unparalleled understanding of anatomy. In fact, they're not just drawings, they are literally blueprints of precision, innovation, and adaptability. And I've spent 25 plus years in the world of end-to-end -end testing, and these principles really struck a chord with me. I call them the Da Vinci Code of End-to-End -end Testing. So let's break it down. Number one is precision. And just like Leonardo's detailed measurements and descriptions in his anatomical studies, precision in test automation means leaving no stone unturned. It's about crafting test cases that mirror real world scenarios and edge cases with meticulous accuracy. It's also about thinking about all the other scenarios your developers probably haven't thought of or how your end users are gonna use your software. So in automation testing, precision is about creating test cases that really accurately reflect real world scenarios. It involves a deep understanding of the software it uses in the various environments that it operates in. And just as da Vinci's drawings left no details unexplored, our test cases should cover every possible user journey, edge case, and failure scenario. The second part of the code is innovation. It's similar to Leonardo's innovative approach where he fuses art and science to anatomy. And in the same way, teams must innovate in their testing strategies. This means proactively evaluating your current strategies and always striving to improve it. It could include leveraging advanced automation frameworks, incorporating AI-driven testing, adapting new tools, etc. The goal? To enhance the efficiency of your test execution. Like da Vinci, we should strive to break boundaries and think creatively about solving testing challenges. And the third part is adaptability. Leonardo's anatomical studies were iterative. He continued to adapt them based on new discoveries during the period. In test automation, teams must also regularly refine and expand the test cases. Why? Because you need to adapt to the ever-evolving software landscape and user behavior our test strategies must evolve accordingly. This means regularly updating your test cases, incorporating feedback, staying on top of new technologies and user behaviors. Also, adaptability in test automation is about being agile and responsive to the dynamic nature of software development. Make sense? I hope so. So I challenge you to try to apply the Da Vinci Code to your day-to-day -day test automation efforts. It will give you a more effective approach towards your routine task and help you level up as a software professional. Speaking of which, if you're looking for practical tips, tools, and strategies to equip yourself with precision, innovation, and adaptability, and elevate your testing game, then head on yonder with haste to Automation Guild and register today. It's an annual online event I've been running for eight years to help you succeed with all things automation testing. Every year, I poll the previous guild attendees and ask them what's the number one thing they're struggling with that they need help with in the new year. And I get together a bunch of sessions, just like the Renaissance geniuses, to come together to assist you with your automation efforts. And for making it all the way to the end, use the special code 
TUBE30, T-U-B-E 30, for an extra 30% off our upcoming Automation Guild. Check it out and hope to see you there. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.